वेलकम बैक यू वॉचिंग न्यूज एपी सेंटर विद मी गृह प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वॉज इन शिलोंग फ्यू डेज गो टू ले फाउंडेशन स्टोन फॉर वेरियस डिवेलपमेंटल प्रोजेक्ट इन मेघालय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर आउटफिट चॉइस फॉर द इवेंट इज स्टिल ऑडली फाइंडिंग मैंशन इन पोलिटिकल डिस्कोर्स दो whether it is lowering it through the name of criticism is the question that we are looking at addressing it today but if one were to follow prime minister's choice of attire closely it's safe to say that his attires are part of his political messaging although one of the sharpest critique against his flamboyant headgear has been of him categorically refusing to wear the muslim skull cap but let's get back at the issue at hand this time Prime Minister Narendra Modi wore a traditional khasi outfit along with a traditional garo hat in Shillong in a bid to convey his respect for the culture of both the key tribes of Meghalaya. That though become became a subject of amusement and mockery after former cricketer and TMC leader Kirti Azad allegedly made fun of the prime minister's outfit calling it in a sense a woman's floral dress. The comment has sparked a row with the Assam chief minister Himanta Biswa Sharma accusing the Srinamool leader of insulting Meghalaya's culture. BJP scheduled tribe Morcha has also slammed Azad's uh, comment for insulting the tribals. Kirti Azad though claims that he intended no disrespect and he was only trying to highlight Prime Minister Modi's fashion statement. The post has now been deleted though. This is not an attack on Prime Minister Modi, but it is in fact an attack on the culture, on the traditional attire of the tribal people of Meghalaya, of the Northeast. Now, this isn't the first time, though, that Prime Minister's attire has been spoken about. Let's look at some of that past instances on when actually was the prime minister what he was wearing really part of a political discourse now let's took, uh, take a look at january 2015 lalu prasad yadav in fact had taken a swipe at prime minister's attire while he was meeting the then us president barack obama he in fact had said that the pin striped uh, suit that the prime minister was wearing was so expensive that he it might have to be sent to france for dry cleaning Now in October 2, 2015 Rahul Gandhi in fact said that Prime Minister changed clothes 16 times during his 5 day US visit so that's what it led down to if we actually further go ahead and talk about August 2016 Rahul Gandhi again took a dig at Prime Minister after his suit made world record he said that that's the kind of service to the nation that Prime Minister Modi has given February 2022 after meeting prime minister KCR in fact said upar sherwani andar pareshani that again was part of political discourse right after his meeting remember with the prime minister October 2022 RJD took a dig at prime minister's clothes during his Uttarakhand visit while he was visiting Kedarnath and Badrinath again uh, the RJD said that while some people are visiting Uh, and doing their temple runs rjd in fact is meeting with the people talking about the real issues like employment uh, in fact december 2022 again tmc leader kirti azad what we are talking about has in fact taken a dig on the khasi attire that prime minister was wearing in shillong and that of course is the matter of debate that we are taking on today now to discuss this further joining me on the broadcast is uh, desh ratan nigam who's a lawyer and political analyst also Professor Monajit Mandal of the TMC is with us and social activist Hasina Karbi is also with us. Now let me begin with uh, Monajit Mandal. Monajit, how does TMC choose to defend what has happened? No, I think uh, the TMC certainly is not defending the statement of made by an individual. Uh, he may be a very senior uh, party functionary, but uh, we are absolutely condemning this uh, you know comment made on his individual capacity in fact mr azad himself uh, has clarified that he has highest regards for every cultural aspect of the country including the ethnicity of certain people living in the northeastern part of the country and he did not really mean to insult mm. any of those communities mm. and thereafter he has deleted the tweet so i do not really understand why the controversy is still raging 
we do not want any lecture from BJP when it comes to respecting the cultural, ethnic, or religious diversity of this country. But Monoshi, you are saying it now. You are saying it now. But no, the no, fact I, that I, I, uh, I, I, Mr. Razad, uh, in fact, put out that tweet, he did not see this coming. He probably let, chose let, to let, just go ahead and tweet it out only when he saw where this controversy is uh, going. Let he me, deleted let, the tweet. Let me, let, let, let me give examples. Yeah. Talking about respecting the tribals, hmm. look at what the principal leader of the BJP in Bengal, Mr. Subindu Dekari, does. Mm -hmm. He has shown his feet to a tribal women minister in the state, Birba Hasti, mm -hmm. Birba Hasta. He has shown his anger at another tribal MLA from the same province. So, and, and on, on top of that, we talk about the development of the tribal communities, even in the northeastern part. Look at how the, 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 the people are living there. The most abject poverty, the plight, mm -hmm. and and their, their conditions. I mean, they have not done anything. The Prime Minister is going to Meghalaya only after three, four days of visit by Mr. Ms. Mamta Banerjee and Abhishek Banerjee. So, it speaks volume about the fact that they are all actually imitating TMC when it comes to developing the tribals. Mm -hmm. We have highest regards, again, repeat, chair of the Prime Minister as also the cultural, religious diversity of this country. BJP is a party with exclusive vision of distorted version of Hindutva. This is the country knows okay. and the world knows. We do not believe in this kind of a vision at all. If an individual, we repeat, if an individual makes such a comment, we condemn it and we are not going to defend it. And the person concerned, again, I repeat, has mm. also said he did not want to insult any of the communities. Just talking about certain facts, which the Prime Minister follows, it may be wrong, it may not be wrong. We have no issue with that. Prime Minister changing clothes every now and then, wearing different kind of fashion, cultural, ethnic, diversity, fine. Mm. We have no issue. He can be, he can wear expensive, expensive dresses. Mm. Amtadi wears, you know, dresses of just, you know, few hundred rupees with high chappal. That's besides the point. Many people may not may not follow Mamtadi, mm. but we have no issue with the Prime Minister even wearing a cloth of okay. 10 lakh you still rupees. Said, That's his right. prerogative. Okay. Uh, Desh Ratan Nigam, you know, why is it that the BJP, whenever there is, let's say, in this case, a personal attack that's been made at the Prime Minister, chooses to go ahead and make it into an issue, but... When the BJP indulges in personal attack politics, then things should be okay. That's the claim that TMC is making. I agree. In fact, uh, what we have seen from the highest leadership of the BJP is that they have mostly been reacting. Mm -hmm. And in this case also, even when he was called Motka Saudagar mm -hmm. and subsequently Neech and Chaiwala from the Congresses mm -hmm. or uh, some of the... Mm, TMC people have also, in fact, Mamta Banerjee mm. also used certain words against him. Mm. He reacted. Mm. He reacts. And, and and a political leadership must react. Otherwise, you know, they will be considered a weak leadership. But mm. here, there was no provocation. And, and some people with entitlement think, how can an ordinary person become the prime minister of this country? And uh, then they start, you know, started commenting, mm. neither male nor female. What does it mean? In certain, you know, there's uh, some people who use, uh, say this in, in a manner that it may reflect as being a transgender. Mm. And some people do use it insultingly in, in this country. Mm. And they all should be punished also because transgender genders are human beings like anybody else. Mm. And therefore, in this particular case, I think the foot and mouth disease seems to be carrying on to TMC as well mm. from the Congress and some of the Shiv Sena leaders also. And uh, then to say, then to give clarification about it and insulting, both insulting the Prime Minister and the culture of the Northeast. It's not the Prime Minister alone. Uh, please remember in the past, Rajiv Gandhi, Atal Bihari, Bajpayee, Indira Gandhi, they all donned tribal, you know, outfits when okay. they visited their respective states. Mm. But, uh, you know, believe me when I say this, that uh, people like Kirti Ajad are forgotten people. You know, they have mm. taken refuge in TMC. Mm. Nobody remembers them. So make a tweet like this so that you come into limelight and headlines. That's, I think, the sole purpose of this, uh, yeah, apart from being insulting. Okay. 
prime minister Monajit, or, or, can I or uh, uh, yeah all right uh, deshrata nigam let uh, monajit come in over here monajit the Your, fact that do you think yeah. do you think he he was cheeky he was being cheeky because we have also fact checked this particular tweet that was put out that was actually a mopped image of a uh, uh, e-commerce yes. site it was a mopped image possibly in uh, the public domain on the internet and kirti azar just chose to pick it to take a swipe at the prime minister why did he have to do that whatever it was that does not exist now hmm. but coming back to the issue of insulting political leaders i think mamta di has taken the maximum brand from the bjp starting from the prime minister cat calling her saying didi o oh, didi everyone in this country now has hmm. come to terms with that particular insult hmm. shubhendu udekari calling mamta di every other day begum kim john mamta di all the big spokespersons of bjp Every other day, I have debated with them, okay. calling Mamta the Muntaj Begum. What the right sir? When you talk about you know, the Monajit, I'll come to that. Political. I'll come to that. But the yeah, fact is, is, is that you BJP are you are so so easily brushing it aside, saying that it doesn't. Whatever it was, no, it doesn't exist no, now. No, no, We no. are just putting out that image. Let me actually bring in Hasina. One second, uh, Monajit. Bring in Hasina. She's a very very prominent voice from Meghalaya. Hasina, the argument that the BJP has put is that this has obviously gone ahead and hurt the sentiment of people of Meghalaya, the Garo tribe, the northeast in general. Do you agree? Uh, I think every time you pick up a culture, the attire for. everybody in the northeast of india it actually isolate the region you know from mainland india yeah. that has always happened mm. over and over again mm. this is a question that we need to ask ourselves it's not about who is wearing that attire mm. in the northeast when you welcome anybody it could be the prime minister of india it could be any functions mm. very often a traditional attire is always being given in respect of a tribe Mm. whether you go to a particular state you get a stole you get a japi in assam mm. Mm. Uh, you know you you get a jacket in arunachal this is another kind of a jacket which is normally used traditionally for a dance in meghalaya mm. so the question comes back here is when you start picking up comments on attire of culture and that to the sentiments of people who mm. are minorities in the country mm. it really reflect that the person does not have an idea of people across the region in the northeast yes. mm. so it does bring up a lot of flaring mm. in terms of the fact that the northeast is considered to be isolated again and again right uh, you know monajit would you like to come in yeah, here that's yeah. a very important point yes, that yes. hasina is making yeah. you know I, as I, it I, is I, when when we talk about people of the northeast yes. we talk about them the others there is further exclusion if you go ahead absolutely. and make statements like absolutely. this absolutely and that's that's what that's what we are saying that we do not approve of this kind of a comment though the person who has made it made it amply clear he was just talking about the idea of fashion that the prime minister follows he may be he is completely wrong mm. and 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 what what about my good friend from that part of the country was saying i think is absolutely spot on mm. we have failed to mainstream them culturally speaking it is it is a fact mm. let us let us acknowledge this fact and let me tell you madam Many percent, forty to fifty percent of the people living in the Barak Valley, mm. which is down to the Meghalaya, are Bengalis. Everyone knows we culturally, we culturally gel with these people, and that's the simple reason that Mamta Di and Abhishek Banerjee are so well received in that part of the country. Mind you, Trinamool Congress is now the opposition party in Meghalaya, and we are going to win the election next year. That's besides the point. Okay. But we are trying our best to culturally. to economically even even at times to connect them by heart mm. it's not just connecting the people by going there promising certain okay. development you know udan kishan something like that we need to mainstream them in terms of making bridge between heart that's a fact that's a failure that this part of the country which calls itself proudly mainstream mm. india mm. has failed for the last many many years and that's the simple reason mamta di abhishek banerji both my leaders will visit that part of the country mm. to make good contact with the people by choosing the good people out there to rule meghalaya not 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 okay. not to to okay. people bringing, from bringing outside bringing bringing deshratan nigam back into the discourse uh, deshratan nigam why is that whenever uh, you know the target and i'm i'm asking this question again because i'd want your, my my producers to pull out this graphic that i'm going to talk about 
why is it that the BJP goes ahead and milks this to its advantage? Because they themselves have done so in the past. Let me actually bring out this graphic where very recently you had this high profile visit by the Ukrainian president, Mr. Volodymyr Zelensky, uh, with that meeting with the US president and the first lady. And then also the choice of attire was questioned. There's also Jacinda Ardern who's meeting with the External Affairs Minister. There's of course uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi wearing the Chola Dora uh, in Kedarnath. Here you see uh, there is another comparison that was made in this case also where we are actually talking about how world leaders and also people of significance. There was another image of Rahul Gandhi where uh, the Congress party along with others were protesting wearing black attire and talking about the rising unemployment in the country. And the Prime Minister had in fact said that he kala jadu kar rahe. So why do tables turn when the BJP makes this swipe? And, and the important point that I'm, I'm, I'm making here, you're talking about Liz Truss, uh, pretty much dressed like Margaret Thatcher. That's the visual that we have actually put in. That's always spoken about. The choice of attire when it comes to popular faces, talking about world leaders, it has always been part of the discourse. What is so different to, uh, different today? Well, well, Griha, in fact, when Rahul Gandhi wears black, it is not a cultural, you know, dress. It, it's a symbolic dress and black is... Uh, no, you I'm know, not talking about cultural dress. I'm just talking about how, you know, the choice of attire has been part of the discourse. So why is the BJP only milking it to its advantage? It has happened in the no, past... It is not milking, it is responding with determination. If somebody mm. tries to insult the culture of Northeast, mm. where the effort of this government right from 2014 is to mainstream Northeast, the amount of development that is taking place in the Northeast and Northeast being now considered as a gateway to the East, mm. look East policy. Mm. And uh, the Prime Ministers earlier never used to visit <clears throat> Arunachal Pradesh because China didn't want. Mm. Now this Prime Minister and the Presidents in the past of this particular government have been visiting Arunachal Pradesh. Mm. So the entire focus has been in the northeast mm. and why shouldn't bjp you know attack kirti azad they, he, he should be you know uh, uh, admonished and is, and he should ask for uh, you know forgiveness also because he has clearly insulted the khasi and garo you know tribal attire the fact remains that the uh, some disciplinary action tmc should also take against him just because okay. he has given clarification does not mean that he's absorbed of his uh, you right. know defamatory so before, statement before i go to Monajit, I will again like to bring Hasina back in. Uh, Hasina, do you think this, the, these images that are actually put out for the viewers, the talk about what the world leaders are wearing, uh, the way it has been dissected, this meme culture that is so prevalent considering we're talking about the times in the times of social media, don't you think that has always been done for anybody? You know, the fact that we're right now talking about Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, one aspect of looking at it is also that it shouldn't be made into a big deal. Can we look at it that way or do you not agree? Yes, I think uh, an attire being worn by anybody, it could be the Prime Minister of India, it could be anybody in this world, is always a sign of respect mm. because the attire is always significantly an identity of a tribe or a culture. Mm. If we are talking about a democratic a democracy, that a democracy has tolerance for all culture. By trying to bring in this kind of debate or trying to bring in this kind of uh, what we call it, what it has been put up by Kirti Azad, mm. is actually bringing uh, the sensitivity of a culture mm. who have due respect mm. for the patterns mm. that actually represent a particular kind of tribe. Mm. And very often when you start bringing this into the domain of the public, especially in a, in, a, in a country where we, I know, I mean, the population is using so much of social media, mm. it brings a lot of flaring mm. and that can be uncontrollable sometimes. And at the same okay. time, I'm not talking it from any political parties. I'm talking it from the humanness of respect. Right. Monoji, the last point, I, I, I'll actually come to you before I wrap up. Do you think it can't be a usual troll that uh, Mr. Kirti Azad can behave like. I mean, he uh, is a leader of significance. It doesn't, is not befitting of where he comes from to actually tweet out about the Prime Minister, the attire, in the case like he did. I repeat, hmm. he, has, he, has, he has no intention to insult that particular dress. Hmm. He was speaking merely... Hmm. Prime Minister. So, will you ask for an apology as the BJP and uh, here in this case, Mr. Desh Ratam Nigam is, is uh, suggesting? 
you see the party has already spoken to him okay. he has deleted the tweets the party will definitely talk to him but i i want to have a general point okay why we have failed the mainstream political parties tmc has just entered north east mm. for the last 70 okay. 75 years of our independence why we have failed to develop that part of the, the country the bjp and the congress now if you look at the northeast northeastern state mm. most of the states were are ruled by okay. the bjp uh, the fact and that we it is going away from the share. debate at hand yes. we will leave it at that monojit i'd like to thank all my guests for joining me however we are talking about the decorum in discourse and whether or not uh, a swipe like this of the prime minister's attire is it in a good light or all is fair in the name of politics is something that we need to actually look at I am uh, leading out with that uh, saying goodbye and good night with that thank you so much for watching